Hey, uh, this is Tim with Game Time. Um, I, I finished my perfect grade razor and I I finally got him to stand. Oh, he's coming out a little bit, but I think he looks pretty awesome. Painted him. Uh, I, I did put everything on him and it's, it was a little hard to get him to stand. Um, I don't think you're supposed to put this stuff on the outside, but I once you, you know, because a razor, this, this perfect grade is actually two different um, models put together. It's a perfect grade jet uh, that is in the back and which looks cool. It has all this weaponry on it. And then it's the, the uh, I think it's the double zero Gundam, I believe is what it's called. And um, you kind of put them together. But when you put them together, you're not supposed to put all this weaponry on them. But I did everything because I wanted to show it off because I painted it. And it took me a long time <laughs> and I think it looks awesome, but it, maybe it's a little too much. Um, but yeah, this is him. Um, I, I got this Gundam because my, my MG um, Razor got messed up. A bird got in the house and landed on the outstretched sword and it broke him. And there's some pieces that are just not, yeah, anyway, not that great. But here he is. Here's part of the jet here. Um, and if you want to look what he looks like unpainted, you can kind of compare the two. Um, he's pretty close, of course, but, um, you know, I think the, the paints that I use and just the, you know, when you paint the plastic, it just pops. But um, this is actually on the back. I'll try to show that in a second, maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, that's what happened. Uh, so I bought the perfect grade which I am really impressed with. And the biggest difference that I would say is, is he looks good. He looks cool. You can kind of see him on the side here. Here's, here's how the back of him looks. Um, but there was a problem trying to, uh, I guess, take the jet and put it, you know, connect it to the back of, uh, of the Gundam himself. And I actually had a lot of, you can't see it on that side. But when I was trying to take the, uh, this part right here, and put it onto the back it would not fold correctly and so it just did not it did not look right i didn't have any problems with the perfect grade he looks great in the back and i i'm really impressed with that um had a little trouble with the sword if you can see right here it's i had to glue kind of the middle of the sword here um but it i'm gonna probably have to glue the uh, the top of the gun uh just this these two pieces that um are on the side of the uh i guess this giant beam saber beam sword whatever they call it um, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do that. You just have to do that every once in a while in Gundams. But, um, yes, I want to show you, uh, the paint <laughs> that I use as the main point of this video. I'm so sorry. Um, this is kind of my first that I'm doing like this. And these are all the paints that I use. I use Tamaya color paints for plastics. Um, I use the TS ones and these are all the colors, um, for the, uh, the clear. I, I use pearl clear. I, I probably should have gotten just plain clear. Um, but it's not bad that the pearl clear, uh, anyway, I did the, the clear on right here on this part and, uh, I think kind of his eyes actually, uh, which I think I might want to go back in and make him green. Um, cause I do have the lights on him. Um, I also used it on the sword in the back here and on the giant sword, which is actually not on here, but I did use it on the green here. You can't see it that much, but believe me, if you don't use it, um, the plastic, it just doesn't look the same. Um, I don't even know if I had that piece, but like, for instance, this one, it, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong. Oh, we got damaged. Um, but if you put the, uh, the, you know, a layer of this on there, it just, it makes it look that much better. Although with that said, I did have a little bit of problem with it adhering to this paint. Um, anyway, uh, that's what I use that for yellow. Obviously I use the TS 16 yellow, uh, yep, real quick, the pearl clear 65, uh, TS six, uh, 16 is the yellow I use right here for like his exhaust, I guess. And then the uh, antenna, uh, blue, I used pure blue, which I'm really impressed with. I, I think this is one of the first models I've used it on. I probably used it on something else, but, um, first one I can remember using it on. Uh, I also use pure red for the red on his uh, his feet and kind of the midsection here and then his chin. Um, I use German gray. I use two different grays here. I used um, one of my favorites. Well, the German gray, real quick, German gray I used for the outside here, the missiles. Uh, I think it's mainly the missiles and these, uh, I guess the rockets or something right here. Um, but yeah, that's what I use the German gray for. It's TS4. Uh, I did also use, and this is a favorite of mine, I... I I only started using it on the Psycho Zaku, but I love this rubber black. It looks so great for the darker grays, which is like right here. 
Uh, and then it's harder to see, but like right here, I think I used it and I used it right here. Uh, and then in the back here, I used it. I used it a lot. I used it a lot on Gundams. And it really, I, I, a lot of people don't paint the, the skeleton of the Gundam, okay? They only paint the outside here, the white and the blue plates that go on top of the, the frame of the Gundam. But if you, if you don't, if you, if you don't paint the, um, uh, the grays, it, it, I feel like you're doing an injustice. Um, yeah, and you can kind of see the contrast right here. I painted the darker gray and, and the lighter gray, the German gray, but this rubber black is just awesome. And it's just a, a deep gray and you don't, yeah, it's just, it's great. I, I, you can, you can tell me if you like it. I'll try to do a, a pan around of the Gundam in just a moment. Um, I use a couple other colors. Uh, I try to use uh, pure white. I, I would have used pure yellow. I did not have it. Uh, well, there's no pure yellow actually. I found out later, but uh, there should be. Uh, I use pure white for the whites on here. Uh, I'm impressed. White's kind of a, it, it's a hard color to get right, but uh, I think it turned out pretty good uh, for him. Uh, and then the last color I used, um, I don't even know if you can see it, but I used the metallic silver uh, TS-83 and TS-14. And the reason I used the TS-14 is because there is, uh, it tells you to use it here uh, as a base coat to put on the metallic silver. Um, metallic silver is a more expensive paint. I think it's in the uh, double digits, like always. Um, it's like $15 or something for this small can, um, but it's great. It looks really great and don't use it without the black because I tried that, it does not look good. Uh, it does not adhere correctly. Uh, let me just see if I can find it. Um, oh, I know where it is. It's on the sword here. Um, okay, here, let's pan around real quick. Okay, I'm gonna try to turn him around. I, I think I can get him. It's a little hard to stand. He, he's a neat Gundam. Uh, I. I he definitely has some features that some of the other ones I've done do not. Um, but here's the back and I think it looks pretty great. You can tell me what you think. Um, uh, right here, you can see the silver. I'm sorry, there's only like one piece that it's on. It's on these swords right here. And it's just, I don't know if you can even tell how awesome it looks, but it's a really nice silver. If you're using the silver, I, I, I would suggest you get the TS-83. You don't use it a lot on the Gundams. But uh, when you do have it, it really looks like a, like a metal look. It, it, it looks nice, really nice. Um, anyway, uh, I brought a few pieces here. I had to go grab them real quick. We paused the video. <laughs> um, this is his big sword. It's supposed to go on top of here. It's just too much for everything I have on here. Uh, I did use, again, I used the Pearl Clear. I'm not that good at doing uh, the beam sabers. I, this is one of my first times doing, uh, actually uh, painting the sabers themselves. But when I use the Pearl Clear on here, and I may have used too much paint, but if, if you can see it kind of, some of it's okay, but it kind of left this weird kind of shaded areas here. Some of them are clear and some of them are kind of, you can't see, it looks foggy. I guess that's the best way to say it. Um, I think you can see it. Okay, I'll just try to rotate as best I can. Um, and here is one I used. I'm sorry, it's got some a little bit of debris on it. Um, it has some splotches on it, but this one turned out pretty good. Um, again, you can't see it. The green turned out great, and that's fine. And I honestly, I didn't even uh, not use these because of you know the the imperfections on them. I just this is I don't know. I really like this look uh, when I um, started building the Gundam. Um, but yeah, here's the back of him and I want to show you a few features on him. Well, one real quick, you can see the orange here. This turned out really good using the, the uh, pearl clear right here. The cockpit turned out really good. Um, so you can see that. Uh, and I want to show you a couple of uh, ways that he moves. There's a lot of pieces that move on him. And so you can really do some detail on him. Um, just make him, uh, you know, um, go in the position that you want him to for uh, the pose that you want him to be in. Um, uh, hold on, let me try to turn him back around. I'm just a little careful that he's going to fall down. And this one did not come with a stand. Usually they do, um, but this one did not. And, and honestly, he stands pretty good. I, I'm going to have to kind of figure out because he, I'll try to show it. He, he kind of, the middle here, you can make it go up and back and sideways and stuff. So he, he moves really good. I, I, I think he's a really well-made model. Um, and let me show you, he's got his, um, I can't remember what you call them. It's his power units that help him float, but I'll show you that. Uh, his eyes light up too, but it's really hard for me to get to that right now. So I'm not going to show that. M most Gundams, mo most perfect grid Gundams, uh, eyes glow. So if you've seen one, you've probably seen them all, but I'll try to get these to go off here. I think you can hear them. They're, they're pretty cool.
They go pretty fast. I don't know. It's noisy. I'm pretty impressed with that. I know it's just a toy, but <laughs> I think that's pretty neat. I like that there's a little bit of like light, but also some um, action to that part. But these were these are special. You um, you didn't really build them. They they came pre-assembled. Uh, I did try to line uh, the Gundam. I, I did line uh, line the piece rather. I lined the whole Gundam. Um, so you can kind of see if you can look at some of the lines here for the missiles and whatnot. I try to line as best I could. I kind of overline. I, I, if you look online, a lot of people, they just try to barely touch it. I, I do a little more. I think that's me right here. Um, down here, I put some, and sometimes I, I, it doesn't turn out. Some areas are a little bit too much or, or not enough, but you can't really notice that the small imperfections, you just, the whole looks pretty awesome, but. Um, yeah, he's got tons of uh, swords and guns and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty proud of him. Uh, I just hope this guide helps out um, you to paint him. This is just my painting guide for him. And uh, he was, I, well, let me give you a little bit of a review for him. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to call this video. Uh, you can see a shield here. I couldn't put this other shield on, but the, even the shield kind of moves. It's kind of even like the shield's a weapon. I don't know. Yeah, it kind of goes back and it comes forward. But a lot of pieces on him move, and you can take the shield. He has a ton of extra pieces I, I have in the box. Um, this is most of them, though, but there are a few that are not here. Um, the jet is really cool. Um, you can, if you look online, you can probably find the jet. I'll, I'll show you a picture real quick. Look at that. So if you look, you know, sorry, I, that's how the jet looks right here. And he looked pretty awesome. I mean, just these would go on him. These, uh, the, all the weapons here. Uh, there's all his weapons right here. I think the sword on the bottom of the jet's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, and there's, yeah, he, he looks awesome. But I think the sword maybe a little too much. But um, that's how he looks. And if you look in here, I, I don't actually like this. Here's the normal look for him. That's kind of the pose I was trying to do. Um, he's so much to him. I didn't want to do anything crazy. I just wanted to show all the stuff he had. But I think it looks cool with all these weapons on the side. Uh, anyway, um, one thing that I, that's unique about this one that I've never seen, I've, I've done almost 50 Gundams. Um, and I think I've done over 50 uh, Bandai models, I should say. I think I've done like 40 some Gundams, um, 48 or something like that. Um, anyway, uh, one thing that's very unique about this one is um, I, I can't remember another Gundam I've done. And maybe like the Seven Swords or the uh, Exia has this. I, I need to do those too. Um, but he has a, a locking mechanism for his his joints and he has these little places that you can press in right here on the side and so what what it does is it will lock the leg in a certain position if you um, go and press in and then move it and then and then you let go and it locks it in that position i'll try to show it as best i can uh, i have to mess him up here a little bit but uh, if you were to take him and you can just move the leg like that and then you let go and it's going to lock it in that position. And this part of the leg will move. Also the, the lower leg will move as well. If you just kind of, you're going to press in and then you just go back like that. And so that part will actually move like that and it locks it. it you're not supposed to, you can, if you, you know, if you really, you know, use some muscle, you can pull it forward, but it might break it. Um, but anyway, it, it helps it to stay in a certain position. So if I wanted to have him, you know, He's popping a little bit, but maybe it's more of this part than this part. But anyway, I, I haven't tried it out too much, but uh, I just think it's neat. Uh, and oh, Everything's falling off now. Um, but um, uh, I don't know if you wanted to have him in a pose like so. I don't know. You could you could do that. You'd have to have, I don't know, some sort of stand. But, um, but yeah, he has it here, and he has it up here in his arms. If you, if you press this, the arms actually go back and forth and then he's got another uh, place that you can press right here and it'll go you know I'll try to show it as best I can let's see I think it might be the inside I think it's the outside anyway it helps him go like that so anyway it'll stay but this gun is absolutely awesome I he's not that expensive for a um, perfect grade uh, he has tons of features there's all kinds of extra goodies you can put on him you can I don't know, put these forward for some reason. I don't know why you'd want to, but yeah, that's the uh, perfect grade riser. I uh, hope this gives you an idea of whether this is a good model. Um, 
I think he's really awesome. Uh, I'm really proud of him. Uh, hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching.